Hello guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where I'm very excited about this set, because Quarians. That's basically why, yeah, Quarians. I know I've got a million other missions, but I don't really know where to do all them. Uh, well, actually, now that I see some of these names, it's like, yeah... There's a thing in the Valhallon Threshold somewhere that I need to pick up, and... Uh, there's probably some other stuff, but it's... Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a pain in the ass. Yeah, there's some stuff I... Something somewhere I need to pick up in Kite's Nest as well. That just... Yeah, I don't know. Does not appeal to me. So I say, fuck it. Let's go to the Far Rim. No Reapers here yet, apparently. A lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. Alright, Quarian Envoy. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is rel rel relatively low temperature and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes uh, out of stealth mode. How do Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. Well, let's dock then. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. The, well, let's, you know, get all the info we can. Your home world? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Uh, well... It wasn't murder, but they were AI that know that they're alive, right? They're that advanced. So they tried to survive the species, and that just meant fighting. Um, so I'm, I'm. This is one of those points where I don't know where I really stand because it's such a complicated thing. It's a complicated issue. Um, I kind of stand in the middle, but there is no such option. So I don't know. God, it's, the thing is, I, I'd i probably sit here for a bunch of minutes just thinking, and then I probably still wouldn't even know. And the thing is, I don't really have a gut reaction, like, oh yeah, that's the one. Or that's, you know, the first thing I thought of, but... Hmm. I... I think I'm, I'm gonna g agree... It's not specifically murder to, you know, turn off a machine, even though it's... I'm going to go with that, though I don't... I don't know. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. Uh... None of those make sense as a response. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your home world. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system, 
If we're going to win, we're... Wait! You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Gerald. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And then do I want them to retreat or counterattack? Uh, well... I don't know. I mean, the Geth are pretty much in... Con uh, I'd say retreat for now. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals. Already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. We gotta speak to Tali, right? Yeah. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Like we're doing now. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Oh, you have to take her. Awesome. All right. Perseus Vale, eh? What's this? Oh, that's the migrant fleet. Okay. A debris field? Can we just scan that? No. Okay, I just kind of skimmed that. Alright. Geth, Geth Dreadnought. Skins of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features. From an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth's workforce never demands rest, wages or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by the time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Corian fleet appears minor, at best. So we have to take Tolly, of course. I like it. I like it that way. Let's go with the old team, shall we? Right, obviously. Sticking with those weapons. Hmm. Tully, you need to use something different. I'm not sure how she would do with a spike thrower, but let's give her one. Because it is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> or so it feels. Added damage. And added accuracy. Or accuracy. And she gets a scorpion pistol, because that is just a cool weapon. More damage, more accuracy as well. No? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you can keep those. 
Oh yeah, right. I still have that. I forgot about removing that. Though I don't really mind it. I don't, I don't mind it. So that's actually cool. I'm not sure. I don't... You know, knowing me, I'm never going to switch between the ammo types. I, I mostly even just forget to uh, use it in the first place. So I'm not going to put any points into that. Does not seem worthwhile. You can only use one, as far as I know. Concussive shots. Increase force and damage to frozen targets. Nah, just more increase in recharge time. Wow, that's that's a lot of points. That is a lot of points, uh, Tali. Let's get you some health, because you Quarians are not too strong. There. 30% <laughs> health and shield, and 60% recharge on powers seems alright. Um... Steel barrier and power, yep, that's that's a really good one. I uh, that's a really and it gives us gives our full shield. Yeah, that's great. Um just do more damage with it. And then sabotage. Increase radius, sure. I never care about the radius, but they always give you that. So she can hack Gath. So she can hack them longer now. And when they're hacked and they die, they explode. Yeah, seems cool, seems fun. Hack synthetics fighting your side move faster and do 100% more damage. Wow. Hmm. Let's just make her crazy synthetic hacker, shall we? So, combat drone or a defense drone? Combat drone. It's uh, pretty useful, actually. It really distracts enemies quite well. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but, uh, yeah. Distracts them nicely. Uh, let's see. Do we want any of this stuff? Oh, we do. We do. Health and shield bonuses or recharge bonuses. Recharge. In the next level, she'll be able to max this at least. Hmm. Weapon damage or attack damage. Mm, I'm gonna say tech damage. And there we are. Took a little while, but uh yeah. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannock five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Warfare suite has accessed their docking protocols. All right, once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert. 